Alright guys, this is Bill at Chair City Corvair Center. I know some people struggle getting doors apart for repair, whatever. Um, I've got the outer skin cut off so you can see how the mechanism works. A couple things I'll point out before I show the window in motion. This is a coupe, not a convertible. Uh, they are different. The vent window mounts with that adjusting stud. Of course, your window crank, your idler channel, it's adjustable. Now, let me demonstrate as the window cranks up how all of this mechanism works. Ronnie will crank the mechanism underneath. This particular bolt right here has a slot and is adjustable. And that simply adjusts where the window meets in this corner. It will raise that corner up or down when you're adjusting the window. The convertibles have many more adjustments to them. And now let me demonstrate the proper procedures for removing the glass, the window crank mechanism, and the vent window. All right, when you're preparing to disassemble the door, particularly on a coupe, and that's what we're gonna use for this one, uh, it's best to cut the outer, well, it's not best to cut the outer skin off, it's easiest. I wouldn't recommend it. We're going to have to go from the inside. So the first thing you're going to want to do is make sure you crank the window all the way down where it seats. The first thing that comes out is the vent window. You've got screws anchoring the vent window here. These have already been removed. One anchor screw from the bottom along sheet metal scrub, long chrome sheet metal screw and then you've got this adjustable anchor screw down at the bottom it's got a big washer on the back side it's difficult to get this out the vent window assembly with this attached and so what I have found raise the window up get in there best you can get some blaster on there to try to clean that up and try to can put vice grips under here because you don't get down to those threads, but get this to where it turns inside this frame. I would even, if you have to get heat in there just enough to get that broken loose, it eases the process considerably. So from the inside, you want to take that big nut off. There's a slotted head on the end with a straight edge screwdriver. You can turn it out like this. And you're going to want to get a hand in here and push up on the glass as you're turning it out so you can remove it. I'm lucky because I've already tightened up those, those threads. It is difficult to remove this and I'll show you why it's so important in a minute. Once this is free, it'll drop down into the bottom of the door. When you get your vent window loose with these fasteners I explained to you. Remove this window channel here, this window channel down through here, and remove the fuzzies. Cock the vent window back like this, watching your paint. Come around this side. You'll see how this spring assembly fits down into a slot in the door goes in like that as you're removing it you're going to angle it back once you're free from this corner and you get pulled out this far rotate the vent window like this and it will slide out right through there now that you've got the vent window removed From inside the car, you want to remove this adjustable channel. Good 
it doesn't fall off, you can reach through. And slide it off the roller. Then you take, of course you gotta get the door, the window crank off, but you remove the four screws anchoring the mechanism. And we're doing this prepping it for an electric window conversion. It's not a kit that I've purchased. I'm gonna be fabricating it from scratch using Subaru electric window mechanisms. There'll be a separate video once that's accomplished. So reaching from the inside Pushing this mechanism up. You want to slide the mechanism out, working the window off these rollers. Now the glass can be removed virtually impossible to do it without taking the fuzzies off and then through the large access hole here the mechanism can be removed thank you